this is a tube in tube type C mouse meter um, uh, on one end is um, a simple mouse optical mouse circuit and that actually receives light uh, which is shown by a small laser if you can see uh, kept here and uh, there is a tube inside this tube so this is a overall schematic of a C mouse meter the one which is being shown here uh, and it's a shortened version it's not to scale so there's an inner tube which is colored in red and there's an outer uh, PVC tube uh, which is in gray and black now the red tube is uh, held rigidly on um, the left side uh, of the reducer which ho also holds the uh, outer PVC tube uh, since it is held on one side very rigidly uh, this tube is free to oscillate with vibrations uh, because the right hand side is completely free there's nothing uh, touching it uh, on the right hand side you'll see a small uh, uh, contraption which has a laser pointer uh, and there is a small uh, lens and between the laser pointer and the lens there is a scratched translucent plastic piece when the laser is illuminated it passes through the translucent plastic piece and creates a lot of small uh, monochromatic and coherent light sources so this these light sources even without the mouse lens would have created a speckle interferometer image on the mouse uh, sensor or towards the left however the lens actually amplifies tries to focus on the small aberrations the small scratches on the surface of the plastic piece and uh, that actually is the target it's not the speckle interference pattern which we want to achieve on the mouse sensor micro scratches on the surface that we want to eliminate the mouse sensor with now um, you may be wondering why uh, how does this actually record movements the thing is the laser pointer as well as the mouse lens are rigidly attached to the red colored tube okay whereas the green colored piece of uh, translucent plastic uh, these are indicative colors by the way uh, that piece of plastic is held rigidly so when there are vibrations the red tube vibrates whereas the green remains fixed and so the image on the mouse again the mouse is fixed to the body uh, because it's part of the rigidly joined to the outer PVC tube the image vibrates along with the vibrations around the device okay. there is also a magnet attached to the red vibrating inner tube um, and that magnet uh, is actually right in front of a brass bolt and the idea is with adjusting the brass bolt uh, some eddy currents could be created through which the vibrations could be dampened and if the vibrations are dampened uh, it has a more real-time response to vibrations rather than the tube setting into its own natural frequency oscillations for a longer time so uh, the damping is very important so uh, this is the free end and as you can see um, it vibrates freely uh, this is a magnet and so when uh, a brass uh, nut is in front of it it helps to dampen the vibration so this is the free end the other end is clamped as you've seen in the previous video so the other end kind of comes till here and this is the place where it is clamped in between there's no support on all through the length it's about one meter of that length so i'm just trying to remove the there's nothing over here it's just a cap with the magnet button. and here is the small piece of pc uh, which i've cut from the same pipe and this um, uh, has a hole a 6 mm hole in front of it where uh, a, a laser which is glued on with um, some uh, hot glue now this simple mouse sensor um, is connected to an Arduino through a USB host shield these are very cheap cheaply available and this is uh, being input into computer. I've just taken the XY coordinates of the mouse 
and I have done a bit of averaging to remove uh, drift which is a common thing in an optical mouse and now this is the screen uh, the red and blue show the X and Y uh, surfaces so if I just sit see I've moved and uh, it has registered a movement if I move again it registers another piece of uh, information so I don't even have to touch the table like it's just sensing picking up information from the movement of the chair with wheels so and, and there's no uh, calibration done to it right now um, it's working as it is so let me just tap uh, the table to see uh, a better image now there's hardly any signal over here and if i tap it there's a huge signal so that's the tube in tube sys mouse meter uh, and that's about it thank you